When doing crafts with my son Garrison, I'm often torn with the concept of it being fun for him, but also a great life lesson. Today we are going to be doing an amazing DIY from things that you might have in your own recycle bin. Today we're making DIY banks. This is going to be able to teach him not only a fun craft, but it's also going to teach him to save, spin, and give. When I was thinking of the materials I would need to make this DIY bank, coffee can immediately came to mind. Not only is it durable, it's soft at the top so it's easy for me to cut in the slit for the money to go inside. Simply remove the label, grab your spray can, any color you want, I went with white, spray it, and now you have a beautiful base. The fun part is the decorating. I'm gonna use something as simple as felt, cut in your designs, and you are good to go. The first step I'm going to be doing is making the ears. We're going to repeat that process with the gray and then with the black. You'll notice that I have three sizes. I have the largest one in black, I have the smallest in gray, and then I have a medium in pink. You simply take the bottom, pinch it together, and you have a beautiful ear. Now I'm going to take my scraps, simply layer them on top of each other, and we're going to cut the nostrils. We have three banks, so we want to make sure that we differentiate them some kind of way. And I'm going to do that with their facial expressions. I'm going to be creating a smiley face, one with his tongue looking out, and just a straight face. And I'm going to let Garrison decide which one he wants to be, spin, save, or give. We have all of our facial expressions cut out, now to detail them. For the tongue, it's very simple, a straight line right down the middle. Can't have a cow without spots. This is my favorite part. Super simple, you just freestyle them. This is the most important part of the whole project. It is a bank, so it's time to cut in the slot. I really want to stress the importance of safety first. You'll notice that this is a very soft plastic top. I'm going to be cutting it inside of the can to assure that I'm not cutting into my table and or my hand. Let's get it cut. I went with the hot glue gun for this project because it dries fast and it adheres to both materials, felt and metal. Win-win. And of course, we can't forget our googly eyes. So fun, right? For our finishing touches, we're gonna take a crate and some green shredded paper, simply place each one of our cows in there, and these guys are on their way to spin, save, and give. Let's go see what Garrison thinks about them. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.